Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about all the books that I'm bringing with me to university. So I'm starting uni in a few weeks. I move in quite soon and I'm going to be bringing quite a bit of books with me because I'm not going to have these shelves for a while and I'm going to be living on residence so that's going to be really new but I didn't know how many books I should bring because I might read really fast, I might read really slow, I don't know how busy I'm going to, like I'm going to be busy I know that with academic stuff but I also wanted options and I also don't know how many books my dorm is going to fit. I know there's a shelf in there so hopefully but right now I have at least 40 <laughs> with me. So we are going to do that. I'm going to show you guys all of these, not too many synopsises, but just the books that I'm going to be bringing. And also these are kind of like my TBR for the next like six months, basically. So I organized this into a bunch of different piles. So first I'll start with like the hardcovers that I have with me, which these kind of vary. And I try to bring a bunch of stuff, including like some sci-fi, some fantasy, some contemporary, um, some nonfiction and some more like true crime kind of stuff. So I have a lot of stuff here. First up here I have Girl Gone Viral by Arvin Ahmad. So this book Emma Books talked about quite a bit and this one I know is similar to Warcross. It's kind of a sci-fi young adult novel and I thought this would be really fun if I'm in the mood for something sci-fi. I got this one for a discounted price and like the new hardcover so like I was super happy about this so I'm excited to read it as well and I watched the videos that Emma made with the author and he seems super sweet so I'm excited to read a book by him. This one I'm so excited about and this is His Hideous Heart. This is essentially 13 Edgar Allan Poe short story and poem poem reimaginings. Half the book has reimaginings based off of Edgar Allan Poe's famous short stories and poems and the other half has the originals so you can kind of compare and I'm so excited if you guys don't know I love Edgar Allan Poe. I've done like Edgar Allan Poe collections on my channel and I read a lot of his work and I love so much of his work. He's one of my like favorite people. So this was right up my alley. It also has a human heart on it which I love. A bunch of authors in here that are going to be reimagining his work so the two that I'm most excited about are Kendar Blake and Amanda Lovelace. So this is going to be super exciting. But Iron Books sent this over to me because I requested it from them so thank you so much to them. They also sent me another copy so I will be doing a giveaway of that sometime soon probably on my Patreon and yeah we will we'll see. I might do it on my Patreon or my Instagram. I'm not sure yet but yeah I'm super excited about this and I hope you guys pick it up because I, I hope it's good. Like I really hope it's good. Next up here I have Four Weeks Five People by Jennifer Yu. So this book all I know is I don't know much to be honest. It's I know it's a contemporary and it's more of a hard-hitting contemporary. This is one that I've heard some pretty good things about as well and I know it deals with like mental health so I'm really looking forward to reading this one if I need kind of the dark contemporaries and like contemporaries in general I really love to read so I think I'm going to definitely need to read this one at some point. Next up here I have Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. This is a really popular one so I'm not going to talk too much about it but this one I didn't read this summer like I had planned but I'm hoping to read it soon and yes this one is about a podcast and I know it deals with like academic struggle and mental health I believe so I'm really interested to read this it's a lot of my favorite people's favorite book so I'm hopefully going to get to this one soon. The character is at a point in her life where she's like between high school and university which is exactly where I am right now so I think this would be really interesting for me to read at this point in my life as well. Next I have Toil and Trouble. This is 15 Tales of Women in Witchcraft and of course I am going to be kind of up at my university and I'm not going to be coming home for a bit so I will be like I might be coming home but I don't want to bring all these books back and forth so I wanted to bring some more spooky Halloween books and not like I don't read this stuff all year round anyways but I want to make an effort to bring more of that stuff as well. So this one I'm excited about. It came out last year and I was so excited to read it and then I never did. Why does this always happen? But yeah I'm really excited about this one. Next up here I have The Second Life of Ava Rivers. And this one is by Faith Gardner. So all I know about this one is it's kind of like a contemporary mystery I believe. So this is split into two parts before her twin sister disappeared and afterwards and that's all I know. I think it's mystery contemporary-ish and I really wanted this at the time. I requested it a while ago from the publisher and they sent it to me so I'm hoping to read this one soon. Next up here I have Fresh Water and I'm gonna butcher this last name so I wanted to show you guys the author name because I really don't want to mess it up. Basically I bought this one a while ago and I bought this at the Strand in New York like in March and it was on my radar because it came out like the last year or so 
I know this one deals with dissociative identity disorder is I believe what it deals with. It deals with a topic that I'm really interested in reading about and I've heard this is amazing. Every time I've read the synopsis, I've been super intrigued to pick this up. So I am so excited. Um, Jesse from Bowties and Books loves this book too, which I haven't heard anybody else talk about it. So I'm really excited to pick this one up. I have Wilder Girls by Rory Power. This is a popular one that has come out recently. It's people describe it as female Lord of the Flies and it's kind of feministy as well and it's supposed to be really like body gore or that kind of thing so I'm interested to read this one. Next I have We Sold Our Souls. This one is by Grady Hendrix. So this one is beautiful. It has the black um, sprayed edges and my friend got this for me. I don't even know what it's about it's except that it's about like metal music and I think it's a mystery and there's pentagrams on it and yeah. Next I'm bringing Wicca by Harmony Nice. Harmony Nice is a YouTuber and I'm really excited to read a book by her because I like adore her channel so I'm gonna be reading about her journey with Wicca and like of course I have to bring some witchcraft books with me. Next up here I'm bringing The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. I'm going to probably read this one around the Halloween time and finish off the TV series because I haven't finished that yet. Sorcerer of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson is one that I'm looking forward to picking up. It's a fantasy. I got the cool fairy loot edition with the edges and I'm really excited to pick this one up. I've heard good things so far and it's like magical library-esque. Next up here I have What the Hell Did I Just Read and this is by David Wong. I don't know too much about this but it's a series and it maybe I actually I don't think I can bring this because I think this is like the 30th book in the series I think I just remembered. I'll put it on the screen what book it is, but I don't know if I'm bringing this actually because if it's a not the first book, then I'm not bringing it. Okay, I just realized that. So <laughs> next few books here are ones that I've read before and that I'm taking with me for sentimental reasons or for rereads. So I'm bringing two copies of The Virgin Suicides because this is my favorite book and I'm bringing my little copy that's like not annotated or anything and I just thought it'd be really nice, especially if I want to read it on the go. And then this is my baby. This is my annotated copy that I have a video on how I annotated this if you want to check that out, but this has like writing in it. It has a bunch of things in it. I drew in it, which is like something that some people don't like, but you know, this is like my pride and joy. I've annotated it tabbed it up. It's the copy that I've read five or six times. So yes. So bringing Under Rose Tainted Skies. So I originally read the hardcover of this book, but this book deals mainly with like agoraphobia and anxiety and things. And I love this book when I read it. I have the hardcover that's all tabbed, but I'm going to be bringing the paperback just because it's a little bit more compact, takes up a little bit less room. And I want to bring it just so I can reread it. And I think it will be a, a good book to reread and that I will relate to a lot um, the second time as well. I have some books that are the little book category so they're like not a paperback but they're not a hardcover so these are like mass markets, little short stories, or manga and poetry collections, just a little stack of that kind of thing. First up I am bringing the Necronomicon which I'm not going to talk too much about but I'm in really interested in reading this and tabbing it and like studying it for that kind of purpose. If you don't know H.P. Lovecraft came up with a lot of this stuff and it's a really interesting book that I've always wanted to read so I'm excited for that. I'm also bringing volume two of The Girl from the Other Side. I did a video where I read a bunch of manga series and read the first volume and kind of and kind of determine which ones I wanted to continue with. So this was a series that I loved. So I bought the second volume. So I'm going to be reading this one as well. Next, I have Zodiac, and this is written by Robert Graysmith, and this is a true crime novel about the Zodiac killer. So I'm reading this one also for there's a lot of true crime books in this stack, just because I am going into criminology. So this is a book that I'm going to be bringing with me to read and. Yeah, I'm really excited to learn more about the Zodiac Killer. I know like the basics, but like I haven't looked into the case as much as like I have other cases. So I'm also bringing my little copy of the Bachman books. So I have wanted to read Rage for a while because I still want to do that video that about gun violence in, lit in literature. So I'm trying to read a bunch of books like that, but I want to read Rage for that reason. And also in here is The Long Walk, which I've read, but also Roadwork and The Running Man. So I'm excited to bring this. This one's like a super yellow old copy, but... <laughs> It's a little baby, so we're taking it. I'm bringing one poetry collection with me and I'm going to be bringing Helium. And this one, uh, Katie Weismer talked about recently in one of her videos that she really loved it. And I've owned it for a while and I've been meaning to read it, but she kind of gave me that push to really read it. So I'm excited to read this one. A few more manga, I'm bringing She and Her Cat. This was gifted to me a little while ago by my best friend. And I just think it's gonna be really cute. And if I need like a little pick me up or like I'm having a down day, I'm just gonna read this because this is gonna probably make me feel really happy. Um, so yeah, it's just about a girl with her cat. Especially if I'm missing my cat because I can't take him with me. Next, I have Dream and Sun Volume 9. This came out recently, so I'm excited to continue with this one. So I'm bringing this with me. And then these are more little books. So I'm also bringing Lance by Vladimir Nabokov. And this is like a little short story that I'm bringing. 
and I'm also bringing Death by Dumpling. This is a cozy mystery that Kayla from Literature Reads encouraged me to pick up, so I'm going to be bringing this one with me as well. Lastly, for this stack, I am bringing the volumes five through seven of A Silent Voice, and I have been meaning to finish off this series for a while, and my boyfriend got me all of these for um, Christmas and things like that, and I've been meaning to read it, and I haven't, and I was so into the series, and now I kind of just haven't gotten back into it so I'm going to do that and finish off the series. These are the last three volumes. Next up here I have a stack of UK paperbacks that I'm bringing and these vary in terms of nonfiction, fiction, um, contemporary, and stuff like that. I put this in a stack together just because I just realized I'm bringing a lot of UK paperbacks and I think they will look beautiful together on a shelf. So I'm really excited to have them all together and they'll line up perfectly and I'm really excited about it. But I'm going to be bringing It Only Happens in the Movies by Holly Bourne, Full Dark No Stars by Stephen King, A Quiet Kind of Thunder by Sarah Bernard, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, A Mother's Reckoning by Sue Klebold, Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, Birthday by Meredith Russo, In Order to Live by Yonomi Park, Under the Banner of Heaven by John Krakauer, and That's Not What Happened by Cody Kaplinger. So I sped through these ones just because this video is already really long, but I'm really excited to bring the these with me they're gonna look so cute together and these are all books that I'm reading for various reasons and that I'm excited to pick up. Next stack is going to be just paperbacks and things like that and then I have an arc stack as well so we're gonna speed through these because there's so many. I so don't know if all of these will fit in my room so if they don't I'll be bringing some of them back but let me know down below books that I should prioritize to read first out of these out of this stack and like if I have to bring some home with me which ones should I like definitely keep with me. So these are a few true crime books and stuff like that that I'm bringing. So I'm bringing Criminology and this is just a little guide by Tim Newburn. Um, I picked this one up. This should have gone in the other little section of smaller books, but I'm bringing this one with me. Hey, Helter Skelter. I've been meaning to read this one for a while and this one is follows the Manson case. I'm also bringing Columbine by David Cullen. And this is about the school shooting that happened at Columbine. I'm also bringing Not That Bad by Roxane Gay. This is a collection of essays that deal with rape culture. I'm bringing A Cast A Cold Eye and this is by Alan Ryan and this is I know it's just a little horror book that I received in a subscription box a while ago. I'm also bringing The Exorcist which I'm really excited to read. Um, this is like the most terrifying novel ever written so we'll see. I'm going to be bringing A Gerald's Game by Stephen King. Her Body and Other Parties with this. This is a collection of short stories and oh yeah it's signed. Um, Strand signed edition but I'm really excited to read this one. I've been meaning to read it for so long it's received such great reviews. And All the Rage by Courtney Summers which this one does have trigger warnings for rape in this book. Video's almost over. We got some arcs to go through. I have Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. Not all of these have come out yet and some of these have come out already but I also have Slay by Brittany Morris. The Forgotten Girl by India Hale Brown. The Line Tender by Kate Allen, Let's Go Swimming on Doomsday, Some Places More Than Others, The Merciful Crow, and Sorry for Your Loss by Jessie Ann Foley. So those are all the books that I'm bringing with me to university. Let me know the ones that I should prioritize down below. Again, I don't know if these are all going to fit, but I had to choose between like my thousand books and I'm not going to have my beautiful shelves and it's going to be an adjustment because it's my first year and I hope it goes okay. So yeah, I'm bringing books with me also for comfort <laughs> because these are my babies and I'm really excited to read all of these. That's why I picked them because I'm most excited to read these. So this is also my TBR for the next bit. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Like and subscribe down below. Be sure to also check me out on any other social medias and things like Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, whatever, whatever you want. Goodreads. I also have a Patreon. If you want to support me on another platform, you can get rewards and get bonus content early. And if you're interested in the witchcraft stuff, you can also get some tarot readings and things like that. So be sure to check that out down below. I'd really appreciate it. And yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you super soon. Bye!